Good morning, my name is Scott McCutcheon with uh, Sovereign Studios and uh, I wanted to kind of show you guys about a problem that I was having yesterday uh, while porting my uh, my shooter in this reach um, to mobile devices here in Unity. Um, I, uh, I, I came across this issue um, by using application.loadLevel. Um, so in my game, I have basically two scenes. Um, and what happens is one is a main menu, kind of, and the other is like the game. Um, so you go from the main menu, and then it loads the game. And then when you're done with the game, it dumps you back into the main menu. Okay, and just creates this loop. Um, so that's kind of like what I was having. And, and the problem that, that actually came up wasn't with my programming or my code, and instead was uh, was an issue with a plugin that I was using, a plugin called iTween. Uh, and if you've used Unity before, you're probably familiar with iTween. It's, it's a very popular animation plugin. Uh, but you may also know that it doesn't always work correctly, and occasionally it'll throw errors out of the iTween.cs class, and um, you know you have to go in and fix them. Um, you know, for whatever you're doing. So, um, I'm going to show you my problem, and then I'm going to show you how I fixed it, alright? Um, so here, here's my problem, is that in my game, I have this one tween, okay? It's, it's the only thing I use iTween for, and what it does is it actually moves my camera from one position to the other, okay? And then I have a lot of stuff as children of the camera that follow along with it and that type of stuff. It pretty much controls the whole game. Either way, um, this this one tween is used to move the camera. So what I wanted to do is that while it's moving, if I were to, like the player were to die or something like that, I wanted to stop the camera. Just stop its motion. Um, so that you can't progress while we play death animations, like particle effects and that type of stuff. Um, so I wrote this little function that you can see on the screen that you've been staring at for like a minute now um, that does exactly that. All right, so you can see in the start is when I start moving the camera with the actual eye tween, and in the update, uh, based on various conditions, is when I'll go pause the camera. All right. Um, so what we're really concerned with is actually the eye tween dot pause and the eye tween dot resume that you'll see in the uh, enumerator function there. Um, essentially all I do is pause it, wait six seconds, and resume it. All of this works fine on the first playthrough. Everything's great, all right? But when I use application.loadLevel and load a new, a new screen, I end up with a uh, missing reference uh, object error, something like that. And I'm going to show you that right now. Um, so here would be my first playthrough of the game. Okay, uh, as you can see, if you look real closely, you will you can kind of tell that the camera is scrolling to the right um, as you float around. Um, and what happens is when I die, I pause the tween, wait six seconds, and then resume. And you can see in the console there where I, I set some debug lines to make it easier. Um, Okay, so ideally, all I'm going to do is quit. Um, sure enough, now I'm, I'm going to load the, the next level. Um, and all that works fine. Okay, um, so here we are back in the main menu. There's the, the scene change. I'm going to hit play. It's going to change the scene again. Okay, and... Uh, I died. Missing reference exception. So that's the problem that I get every time I come back through um, and play this game. A new game has begun, right? I die. And it doesn't pause the path. It doesn't resume the path. The path's not even going. It's just missing reference error. Uh, missing reference exception. So every time I looked at this error, Okay, you get a lot of debug information, and sure enough, um, you come down here and it says, okay, cam path controller line 19 uh, is what's happening. Um, and that's the one that I wrote, and in line 19, sure enough, I, I cause, uh, or I call iTween pause. Alright, so that's, that's what's happening. Um, but if I 
double click on this error, of course it brings me to the itween.cs. And this is the function that I'm calling, the itween pause function, right here. And the problem that it's having is that this array is no longer assigned to a game object. Um, when it reloads this scene, uh, for whatever reason, um, this this script, the itween.cs, is still expecting to see references from the previous scene. Okay, and of course the previous scene has been reloaded, uh, so those references are broken, are no longer there. Uh, so the idea is that this needs to be cleared out before you load a new level. Uh, that way, when you load a new level, the new re the new reference references can can be loaded into this array. Okay, so the array you're looking for is actually called tweens, um, and you'll find it all the way up at the top, probably at the very top, uh, is where you declare this this list or this variable called tweens. Um, once you find it, uh, you, what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this tweens equals, and then whatever you have back out here. And you see, I've already changed mine because you you may have uh, where it says where it's a of a type array list uh, where it just creates a new array list. If you if you just have this, copy this tweens equals new array list. Me, I have this where I've turned it into a generic dictionary list. Um, so I copied that. Either way, the point in doing this is to essentially reset this list before you load a new level. All right. So. Um, so what I did down here, um, this is the problem that I'm having, is, is, is this. So I just went a, a few lines above and I created an entirely new uh, function. Okay, I called it destructor. And what this does is it destroys the current list so that a new list can be created when you load a new level. Okay, um, And all I did, public static void destructor, and I put that one single line where it says tweens equals... Um, new list, you know, dictionary, whatever, or new array list, or whatever you have uh, in your iTween class. Um, and what this does is now you'll be able to call this from your from your other scripts before you load new levels. Uh, and then you'll destroy the current list again so that you can create a new one um, when you load the, the new level. Alright, so uh, I call um, to load new levels three times in my game in three separate functions. Um, so obviously you can see right here all I did literally itween.destructor and I just call it. Cool, right? Um, and then I do it again two more times. Here and here. Okay. Um, so let's test this out. Obviously you can see Let's clean these, clean these up. Yeah, I got a lot of warnings. Don't judge me. Um. All right, so this this would be my first playthrough. Having this paused. Cool, right? Everything's working as expected. There's padding resume. Um. Having pause, having resumed, and there's the level change. Alright, so ideally, when I hit play, it should just tell me, sure enough, a new game has begun. I've yet to see a reference error exception. And if I die, alright, having this pause, no reference error exception. Um, reference error except and that's exactly what I wanted it to do um, I need it to clean that list up every single time so that that's uh, that's how I went about solving that issue um, I hope this was helpful uh, for anyone you know that may have come across this error um, you can always follow me on my uh, YouTube channel and be sure to check out my website at sovereigns.com uh, for more tutorials and games and stuff. Um, 
and be sure to look for In This Reach here in the next few weeks as I uh, launch it on Android, Windows Phone, and iOS. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.